My family and I and the Indianapolis Colts have talked about what causes we really want to get behind. And one very important cause we wanted to be advocates about is mental health awareness. There's a lot of people who are struggling silently and you would think everything's fine. Um, and I think that's just a big part of where we wanted to begin was taking away the shame and judgment that can come along with being diagnosed with, with a mental illness um, and really trying to create compassion and understanding for them and, and having what that can bring to a community and, and what that can bring to a culture. I believe, and my family believes, the, the more that we can talk about it, the more that I can put it on me and say, hey, look at me, you know, I, I went through this and I'm strong and I'm healthy here today because of it. And I'm worried about my brothers and sisters that are left behind. Mental health for me has been an important, I would say, dimension of of my life. I have um, family members and a family history of people that have suffered from mental health issues. Um, I experienced as a child and a young adult um, some traumatic things that, you know, influenced and affected my quality of life to the point where I needed to get some help. I feel like, you know, just from growing up, you know, sometimes, you know, you're taught to, you know, just keep things to yourself, you know, and you don't, you don't really know too much about, you know, where to go. You know, you say, okay, you go to your mom or your dad or your siblings, but after that, you really don't know who to turn to. You don't really know who you can trust. And, you know, just having so many other people to rely on, it, it just means a lot. Cause I mean, I, I struggled. I struggled for a long time and then I had to go to counseling and just realize that, you know, there's some people out there who do this for a professional and will give you the right advice. And you just gotta be able to willing to listen, learn and willing to talk, talk to these people. Kicking the stigma is our commitment to eradicating and getting this environment changed. Kicking the stigma is our call to hope and our call to all our brothers and sisters to battle this thing. I am not an addict personally, but I am the daughter and granddaughter of recovering addicts. Um, and I think, you know, speaking of kicking the stigma around mental health diagnosis, but it's also kicking the stigma that it only affects that individual. Um, you know, it's, it affects the family and friends and loved ones that are connected to that individual and and are learning how to, to deal with the diagnosis and deal with everything that goes along with it. You know, that's somebody that's probably going through the same exact thing and then want to hear your words. And you can't, you can't be afraid to step up. You can't be afraid to speak out because there's so many people in this world that's living through so much pain and anxiety and mental health. And they're just looking for someone to have the, have the same feelings. And for someone to speak out, it definitely is it, something, something big. Whether you're actually a therapist or you're, you know, you're simply a volunteer and working with individuals who, and you see these types of illnesses come up in the work that you're doing, you would say that the biggest thing is getting them to seek help. So that's the first step. And I think the reality is having more spaces, more safe spaces for people to actually go and do that is, is a big priority and, and we don't have enough of it. So what I hope to see as part of the next steps in kicking the stigma is a continued dialogue and conversation around mental health advocacy. And I think the more of us that come forward and acknowledge this as something that needs to be a part of the conversation in today's day and age, I think it just enhances everyone's quality of life. You know, whoever is listening right now we truly want you to know that you're not alone. We know that this is an issue. We know that people are struggling and we wanna make it better. And please, please, please don't be ashamed to get help. It just takes that one call or that one visit to change your life. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel and we're trying to work to get you there.